Hey yo, what's happening? It's Post Retro Gaming. I'm here to do an unboxing of the Replicate Amusements New Wave uh, Arcade 1943 game. So, I was very impressed with the Street Fighter 2 arcade. I have it right here. Don't mind that. And uh, this is it. I, I like it so much and I waited for the Replicate uh, to have the version that matched this style cabinet because they have a 1943 uh, version that looks um, you know like the first model which is a shorter one and it's like has an angled screen and everything and um, because they said that the cabinet that looked like this was uh, coming soon I waited and um, over the weekend this showed up so I'm very happy I'm gonna get into it this video is un <laughs> unfiltered um, I'm not gonna, you know, swear, but it's uncut, so, or, and, uh, unfortunately, that might be a problem. I'm rambling while I open this up, so let's just go open up the, open up the box, because I don't have time and, uh, patience yet to do editing, and I'd love to do that, but one thing at a time. So, getting into it, I hope that... This already looks a little bit different from the other Capcom Street Fighter cabinet. Like the, uh, it looks actually like a cardboard box. The Street Fighter 2 box art had was um, very detailed graphically. It looked like it was something that could be sold on shelves. Maybe it's meant to look like a, uh, a crate, you know, because it's like 1943. I'm not sure, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that. And, uh, oh, there it is. There it is. This is, this is looking really good. So, this is the, I just hit myself. This is the box here. It looks really good. I like this box. Um, my box for Street Fighter 2 is actually at my off at, jo at my job, at the office, so I can't, um, show that, but you can always check it out. On the screen, you'll see New Wave Toys and the NewWaveToys.com website. Take it. Take a look. This is not sponsored whatsoever. I just wanted to put that there because they deserve the um, to get looked at. You know, I'm sure that there are people who might be interested if they've never seen this before. And uh, let's just keep it moving. So, opening this up. Ah, look at it. Look at that cabinet. It looks like the cabinet behind me. I have a story about this cabinet. If you know anyone sticks around, I'll, I'll tell the little story about it. And, um, I'm an arcade junkie, so I have to, I have to have my own. And, uh, hopefully if it could be heard, there'll be a lot of Street Fighter, uh, sound effects and things in the background because I have it set up that way. Um, where, where is it? There we go, that's how you open this up. So we got the, the plane and whatnot. I was not alive at the Battle of Midway, so I don't know too much about it. I mean, I, I don't have the experience. We got a manual. That's a good manual. Black and white, there's no problem. No big deal. Like, who focused that much on a manual? USB for charging and plugging in the uh, controller. I hit my nose again. Hopefully, I don't uh, get messed up from it. So, yeah, I was really hoping that this would be about the same size as the... Street Fighter cabinet, and it looks like it is, so that's a good thing. Look at this. Yeah, so it's a tiny bit bigger, but that's fine. No big deal. The micro switches are actually really good. The, um, the controllers and the buttons, I really like them. It's, I like them to the point where I actually bought an extra um, six button one for, for Street Fighter, so I could have two players. It has two USBs in the back. It should have two USBs in the back, and it does. There you go. And an extra controller. Marquee will light up as this marquee is lit. And, you know, having them reverse like that looks kind of neat. Or <laughs> this way. The one thing that I dislike about my Street Fighter 2 cabinet is the speaker is a little... I don't know if you could hear that. But it doesn't sound great. It's kind of a shit speaker. Um, another improvement to this is that, as far as I know, yeah, they have an HDMI 
in this, so you can plug this into the TV. Unfortunately, the Street Fighter cabinet does not have an HDMI, but that's okay because I have the arcade behind me, and um, I also have, what else do I have? I have a lot of things, um, not enough time to talk about it, so I'm going to power this on, see if it has any juice in it, it should. Let's put that over here, let me put the volume down on that, put it back, you can hang out there, and power's gone on. The interesting thing is here, is that the, um, the coin slots do not have like a 25 cent or a token bit, which is fine, you know, because, you know, it gives me some incentive. I, uh, myself, made little tiny 25 cent, not everybody, there it is. You know, it, it's, you know, just print it out and stick it on. It adds to the um, nostalgia. I don't know what the word is. The, the ambience. Ambience. But the, these look, this looks really good. There it is. Game's on. Let's hear the uh, our audio. How do I get some credits in here? Oh, yeah, you press the coin, obviously. All right. Already, the audio is an improvement. It's very much improved. I want to play this right now so bad. There's no like grainy or staticky sound, which is really good. And oh, it works really well. Um, I don't know if there are multiple games to choose from. You've got mem you got um, you've got options here that you can choose from for difficulty. Marquee light, marquee light is on and off. See that? And Two player, one player switch, scan lines, that's pretty good, backlight, and attract mode. Um, so you've got 1942 as well as 1943. Two games, you know. Uh, I, I shouldn't say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. If there was a way to, to modify this without sticking like a Raspberry Pi in here, I would probably buy another one of these arcades so that I could do that and, and have a setup, like my, my large setup here. But... That's neither here nor there. What I will be doing is getting those 25 cent slots here. Oh, wow, check that out. That's a nice um, feature, the, the lock bar, to prevent people from getting into the, uh, the coins, you know, from like, you know, vandals, from vandalizing, because that's what vandals do. I wonder if this is locked up. All right, so my guess is that you can no longer open this up. The Street Fighter cabinet you know you can open this up and you have access to this stuff and, and I've got coins I forgot about the coins but uh, yeah I don't mind you know I like that it's different it's not like a copy paste of the arcade so you know that's gonna do it for for this unboxing of the game I'll enjoy it eventually and uh, there'll be a bookend to my what's behind uh, my TV over there, but I, I do have, let's have them side by side and get out of this menu, hit return, go, have them side by side over here, got a mini arcade, looks good, very happy, very happy with the purchase, money well spent, and uh, as a big, let's open this up and take out the USB controller, this actually will work on another, on any PC setup so you can plug this USB in there and, and use it. I mean, you know, the, the buttons work well. <laughs> they work better than arcade one up buttons. Shots fired. Um, but, but anyway, we'll talk about that another time maybe. I do own a few arcade one ups. I have one for my son. One <laughs> is waiting for him to grow up and uh, we're going to build something out of that. And anywho, the quick story about my, my arcade cabinet. That's Street Fighter Alpha 3. Uh, one day I was daydreaming at work, and I thought to myself, how amazing would it be to have a, an arcade cabinet with nothing but Street Fighter games? Um, a little bit of a Google search brought me to uh, an application called Hyperspin, which is now not as, um, I wouldn't say it's dead, it's perfectly fine on my arcade. And I, I found that I could build an arcade, and uh, one thing led to another. I found Craigslist, which which I bought this empty shell cabinet for 50 bucks. And then on my spare time, I was able to uh, purchase, you know, I, I got a marquee graphic, um, plexiglass screen. Uh, I've had buttons from 
um, X Arcade and <laughs> shout outs to X Arcade and all this other stuff. So I actually got the coin slot. I mean, I can do a um, a more detailed. This is my arcade. If anyone's interested, um, if you've picked up either of these or all the any of the other uh, discontinued replicate um, art cabinets, you know, let me know. Talk about it. Um, the the other ones look really good, all right, but but my favorite thing is like Street Fighter and this um, having another you know Capcom game that's a shooter game is pretty cool. It looks good. It's a nice addition. It's a nice uh, addition. If Capcom and New Wave were to ever consider doing like Street Fighter Three and have like the entire Third Strike or Alpha, I'm in there. I'm buying those like you know hands down. That's a pre-order. But um, there you have it. So, did I trail off on the arcade cabinet? If anything, you can see me stream from the arcade cabinet on my Twitch page at Post Retro Gaming. I do tons of other things, mostly retro games. All the games, if not the vast majority of the games that I play, are retro related. If it's an, a new version of the game, if it's like Street Fighter V, then that's a post retro game in my definition. Um, you know, Metal Gear V would be post retro and, and what have you, but. Um, I've also ventured into VR, which I am playing games in VR that aren't meant to be played in VR. So what I mean by that is like I'm playing Mirror's Edge in VR, Grand Theft Auto V, and um, soon Far Cry 1 and 3, um, and all types of stuff. So I try to have a good time. I do weird things, and, and I hope to jo you join me and hang out, you know, whatever. We'll just uh, do what needs to be done. So I like to end my streams with... Stay fresh, cheese bags, and I hope you do stay fresh, and um, thank you for watching.